Hey everybody, I just had to leave this one on the table that I poured earlier in my last video, but I loved it so much that I'm going to pour another one, and I know there's lights over here that kind of don't help, but I am tickled pink with this one. This is a metallic gold bronzy color and the little tiny dots and cells that are popping through. I didn't use any silicone in this. So um, the lighting is bad because it's nighttime and I'm doing this in the kitchen, but um, anyway, I just love it. It looks like a cosmic galaxy of some sort. I watched Gina DeLuca and I love her style and so this is inspired by her and I'm going to do another one. I loved it so much. So I'm going to put this one away to dry and I'm going to put the next canvas down. This one is an 18 by 24. The next one I'm doing is a 20 by 24. So I've got a messy table here. I've got drips, but I want to leave them because when it dries, I can peel it up. And there's some beautiful metallics and purple and turquoise down there in those drips. So I don't want to mess that up. And um, so the paint ratio that I did in this video and the last video with the other one is one part paint to two parts Floetrol. Flood Floetrol latex based. So I have everything mixed color wise and I'll tell you the colors. I have one left to mix and I wanted to do that with you so that you could see me do the last one instead of watching me mix one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten other colors. And I added, the only thing I added that was not in the last pour is I added some green. So there's a little bit of difference in a, the tone of one of my colors, but otherwise I use the same colors and I'm adding the green. So I've already, I've mixed brands here and this one is Master's Touch Light Green and this is Liquitex Brilliant Yellow Green together. So that's one part paint. So I'm going to put twice as much Floetrol as there is paint. So there's going to be three parts. One part paint and two parts Floetrol makes three parts. And I always mix the Floetrol in with my paint first and add the water at the end. And typically anything coming out of a tube of paint is going to be creamy and thick and rich and you're going to have to add, even with the flow trial, you're going to have to add some water to get it to a nice consistency that is like pouring honey off of a stick. See like this right now, it drops in blobs so it's not quite there. So I'm just going to add my water. And I've got, these are like, I think, four ounce cups. So, I have more paint than I need, but I always like to have more than less. And I've got little lids that can go on all these containers for the paint that I don't use for the next painting I do. And I often will just add, you know, and like my squeeze bottles, I will add, you can see some squeeze bottles down here in the corner. I continually... As I use the paint up, I add paint and Floetrol or Oetrol, whatever I'm using that time. I just add it to my bottles and the silicone and water all in the bottle and I shake it and that's why I get a lot of little cells at least. And that's still just a bit thick. I'm sure this squirt will be all I need. And I'm not, I do not have silicone in any of my paints. 
So whatever cells happen are because of the flow trawl and the paint and water, not because of dimethicone or treadmill oil, uh, treadmill or silicone or coconut milk or anything. So there are no, nothing else added to any of these colors like that. So, and I'm going to pour what it's, it's going to look like a tree ring pour, but I'm not going to be doing it in circles. I'm just going to be pouring in a straight line. So the colors I've used for this video, Artist Loft Metallic Purple is in my little cup right here. This rich purple is like dioxazine purple, but this color name is just Violet. This Fine Touch, which is from Hobby Lobby. This one here is Deep Violet. So it's a, a reddish purple, which I love. I love the Deep Violet. I love, I love all these colors. I just love color in general. Okay, so this one is a mixture of Liquitex Basics and Master's Touch Vermilion. And Vermilion is like an orangey red. So it's, it was too orange, so I mixed the quinacridone magenta in with it to make this color, which is more of a cherryish red. And then this vermilion, no, sorry, this is orange, Master's Touch Orange. And I think I did put a, a touch of vermilion in it, but I have half of it left from the last four. And the orange kind of took over it, which I love it, but a lot of orange came out, so I'm not going to, I didn't mix anymore. So there's only a couple of ounces left in this little cup here. This one here is Turquoise by Artist Loft and Teal by The Fine Touch. So together they make a bluish turquoise. This one here is Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex and another Liquitex Thalo Cyanine Green so between it was mostly this one with because this one the thio, the um, Thalo Cyanine Green is very strong and I love it I, it's like a peacock color but I only added a little bit of it compared to what I put of this amount and in these four ounce cups, I might have an ounce or so of paint, and then I've got about three ounces of the Floetrol. So just keep that in mind, you know, the one, one to two ratio is the way I mixed it. So that's that color. This color is what's left of the tube that I cut open, which was a fine touch, which was yellow ochre. And I ran out of it, and on this one, I added some cadmium yellow to brighten it up just a touch and a little bit of Deco Art Marigold. This one is Liquitex Metallic Gold. And this one is, and this is, this is really a beautiful, all of these, uh, it's called Lumiere by Jacquard. This is Metallic Bronze. But it's and it's water based, but these are really powerful metallics. These colors are just beautiful. So, if you want some really powerful metallics, use these, they're wonderful and they're not, they're not cheap. So, I'm gonna move, move some stuff out of the way here. This is my bottle of water here that says H2O, and like I said, everything is mixed with the flow trawl. And oh, okay. So the, the one color that I added to the mix this time, which I didn't have in the other painting, is Liquitex Brilliant Yellow Green and Master's Touch Light Green. So I make my colors a lot of times because if there's, you know, this is too light, this is too dark, and then I put them together. And I put a little bit of cadmium yellow in it as well, just to make it a little bit more yellow green. So that's the color that I did add to the mixture that I didn't have in the other painting that you saw. So I'm going to move these back and I'm going to, you know, kind of pour it in a 
rainbow effect, like a gradient kind of effect into my mixing cup. And I'm not doing it into a big cup. I'm doing it into a mixing cup that will hold probably about 20 ounces. This is, you know, my glass one from the kitchen. But I can control it because of the spout, the little, you know, this thing here. I wanted something that had a point, so that's why I'm using this. So there's the flood flow trawl that's latex based. This is a bottle of white mixture with flow trawl and a little bit of water. That's what I'm going to put on my canvas and skim my canvas with. And the white is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. I get it at Michael's. It's a quart. Or you can get it online and sometimes get it for almost half price. Here's my 20 by 24 canvas and I got push pins in the bottom. I was so pleased with the last one. I wasn't going to do anything else today painting wise, but after I poured it and it turned out so beautiful, it was like, okay, I've got to do another one. It's just so addictive when you're when you have one that turns out really beautiful the way you like for it to then you're like ah oh, I want to do another one cup here and we're going to start with the purple and I'm going to put all of it in And then the deep violet. And I'm kind of pouring it on the edge of the glass. And now I'm going to do red. And I'm not going to put, I'm not going to put all of the red. The orange. I'm going to use all that because that was just half a cup of paint mixture there. Then I'm doing the deeper turquoise, it's the blue turquoise. Then the greenish turquoise. Now I'm going to use the lime green. Get these out of the way. Next, I'm using the, the color that was yellow gold colored. I'm going to go ahead and use all of it. The favorite colors that I'm doing this pour for, their favorite colors are gold and purple. So that's why I have all these metallics as well. So I'm going to do this regular gold metallic. Now I'm going to straighten up my jar because it's about to overflow. And here I'm going to use this beautiful bronze color. And then I'm going to top it off with the metallic purple. Okay? So I've got a whole thing full of paint. And it's about to go over the edge here. So let me get my white on really quick. I like to put a coat of something on my canvas to make the paint glide easier. Um, some people leave a negative space. On this one I'm not wanting to necessarily leave negative space. It, I'm sure there will be negative space in the corners because of the nature of the way you pour it. 
like a you know it's kind of like a tree ring pour it's going to be in the center and you let it go out to the edges but um, I want it to be if I have to put a color on the edges I will so I'll just kind of wait and see how it turns out before I decide that sure if it's dark or not because it is nighttime and I don't have the light from outside like I typically do coming in the window. Okay, I hope you can see okay. It's kind of nerve-wracking when you get ready to do something like this because you really just don't have a clue how it's going to come out. I'm not moving it like the tree ring pour, I'm just trying to pour it in the center. Looks pretty so far. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just let it kind of rest for a few minutes. Remember, I did not put any silicone in this either. I'm going to put the heat gun on it just for a minute. That made some purple pop out, but it's not really cells per se. So I'm moving it just a little bit and then I'm going to come back to the center where the weight is. This is quite heavy from the paint. Now I'm going to come back to the center again. back to the center. And it's funny, this one, I, maybe because I put the green in, you don't see much gold at all. It's very interesting. Maybe it will pop out. I like it though. It's different from the other one. It's amazing how when you do this, how each time it kind of turns out differently.
So the other one I did like turquoise on the outside because it just had a little bit of turquoise. Well this has enough turquoise going on and I don't have enough purple. I'm going to put what purple I have along the edge. Add a little bit of the yellow, the gold color. I don't want the lime. I'm going to put some turquoise here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do some red. Sometimes you just gotta get creative in a way. Just create something. Red here. So I have some left in the jar, but I don't really want to use that. So I think what I'm gonna do. Is a fork. Palette purple here. I'll finish off that. Maybe I'll do a little bit of orange and red just to fill in the space. So I'm going to tilt it just a little bit more. I drip there, I can tell. I'm basically just rolling the color a little bit. Try to get rid of that white because I don't really want the white.
I love the color. It's just, I am a, a color fanatic. It just makes me really happy. And um, so, well, I did the first one. And then I thought, well, I'm going to do another one because that was so much fun. And the other one turned out so pretty. I just like, oh, I want to do another one. But I wanted to hopefully get a little bit more purple and, and turquoise, which is their wall color, and gold. But the gold did not show up like I expected it to. Just even trying to add a little bit here as well. I'm telling you, if, if every one of them could turn out this way, I would. It'd be hard to walk away. So even though there's no silicone in this paint, it's got some pretty good cells going on. See, I even use my fingers just to scrape out stuff. That's why gloves are nice and handy because it is a messy thing and um, fingers get all in it and everything else. This is beautiful. Uh, you know, I guess there's a point where you do something you love. I like the feather dance that I did with the swiping. Um, I was so pleased with the way it turned out. And I didn't plan it. I just, you know, did it as I felt it and on a whim. And it turned out beautiful. And, and it was, everybody has raved over the feather dance. And I love that in its own right with the swiping. It is just beautiful. But I love the rainbow colors, and this is just gorgeous, beyond words. So, I am just tickled pink. I'm going to try to lift it up. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to bring the camera down to you, because I don't want to do anything to mess this up. I want that more of a linear pattern. This is just so beautiful. And I just dripped red in the center, but I'm not worried about it. I just swished through it. And... But as it dries, it's going to change. I know it is because cells are going to pop through. Like this purple area here, just in the last 10 minutes maybe or so, these little cells have popped up. I'm going to put the heat gun on it. It is just phenomenal. I love it. I'm going to add a touch of turquoise. See if that stays. It may disappear, but um, there. And then I want to add I want to add something there to get rid of that white. Okay, I just need to quit fooling, but I wanted to see if I could get any more purple. In this corner.
purple here. I'm going to intentionally put a little bit of turquoise just to break that red up just a bit. I'm very pleased. Very. So let me wipe my gloves off. I don't think the video camera does it justice because of the lighting like that right there is like a bright golden yellow but it looks dull in the camera I don't know the colors look duller but in real life that's you know that's all metallic golds there that are popping through and the contrast between the purple and the orange and red is just phenomenal. Kind of looks like a bird's a bird's eye or something. I just I can't tell with the lighting. If that does it any better than not, I'll turn these lights off and see. I don't know if you get the effect any better. It's darker, but um, the vividness of the color is just phenomenal. This area right, right here just looks like it's practically on fire. <laughs> I'm just loving it. I love it. So that is not a tree ring pour. It's just pouring in the center and your colors just automatically go where they want to. You don't really have any control over it. So, so this is the first one I did. And it looks yellow in this lighting, I think, but it's really like a bright orange. The orange is just glowing. And it's very you know, galactic, galact cosmic. I don't know. Uh, the lighting in here is just not that great, but it's beautiful too in a different kind of way. So I've got two, ha I'm very happy with the paintings, very. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.